Daisy, please help us first with the current landscape okay. of sourcing products for the Ghanaian market. How challenging is it? Okay, thank you, Evans. Um, so basically, what the BDCs, who are the members of my chamber, do is source for fuel from the international markets, bring that fuel to Ghana for us to buy at the pump, for us to be able to power our cars and industries and go to work and all that. But we buy our products in dollars, right, and bring it to Ghana. Obviously, we can't sell in Ghana in, CDs, in, in dollars, sorry. So we translate that, that FX into CDs and sell to OMCs. So OMCs buy from us in CDs, sell to us, buy from BDCs in CDs, sell to us, the consumers in CDs, get their money back in CDs and pay BDCs back, right? But BDCs went to the international market to buy the product in USD. So the CDs they've earned has to be translated into FX and sent back to pay the suppliers. Okay, so that's where the problem is. So if we all know what has happened with the, with the current the CD, the depreciation, how high it's been, how fast it's depreciated, that is where the problem lies. Mm. We don't have enough FX to be able to pay our suppliers. So um, beginning of the year, BOG came in, fantastic job of providing guaranteed FX to the industry. But the problem here, again, is that they are not able to supply everything that we need. So how much do you need and how much are you getting? So on average, we need about 400 million USD to be able to bring month? monthly, right? 400, 400 million, million dollars. Yes, a lot of money. Wow. <laughs> I hope you and I will be able to see that amount one day. But that <laughs> yes. is a huge sum of money, which BOG is able to do about $120 million. So you, you need 400 million. Mm -hmm. BOG is only... Currently, giving you, able currently to giving do you 120, 120 about. million. Yes. So that leaves you in excess of 280 million, 280 million yes. dollars. Exactly. How are you filling that gap? So you need to go to your commercial bank. If there are any other source you can get legally, so you go to commercial banks, other people who trade in FX, maybe you have deals with them to be able to get FX, to be able to sub, um, pay your suppliers, right? But the problem here is. BOG gives us a, a good rate, right? It's way lower than what the market or what the commercial bank would give us. Uh, but it's only still uh, meeting only 30% of what we actually need. Mm -hmm. So that rate, that concessionary rate that BOG gives, is not able to translate into pricing. Because if I'm supposed to get 100, I get 30. And my 70, so assuming BOG gives me a rate of currently, let's say 12, and I have to go to the market and get to 15 or 16. When I put those two together, I'll still be hovering around 15, let's say. It really, it really won't make a dent in what I need to be able to price if um, lower for us to, to consume.